To create an SEO report within Raven Tools, go to Reports, then New Report. This will open up a blank report where you could add any metrics or use an existing template. Let's start by adding in our Google Analytics data. We could start with Summary. This will bring in a variety of different metrics. And what we could do is break this down into just organic traffic. So to start, let's change this title by clicking on it to Organic Traffic. And here you could set any date range you want um, from last 30 days, last month, um, you could do a custom date, and maybe we could do year to date here. But what we will do is say last month. So we'll set those date ranges. That'll populate all of this information here. And while this is loading, um, I know that I want to create a segment here so that it's just organic traffic. So under advanced segments, we'll select organic traffic. And then while this now populates, I'll make this chart weekly, and this will show four weeks in the past month. And then I'll take out the trend line. This will be um, comparing sessions over the previous sessions. So we will leave, we'll leave just sessions and, and previous sessions and then take out page views. And now we'll see it'll, it'll take out all of the different channels that appeared. Um, it'll take out page views and it just leaves the week over week um, view of, of our traffic. So here we now have a KPI again to change this to organic traffic just select an advanced segment and select organic traffic if we did want to change this to page views or a different metric we could do that here um, we'll leave it as sessions just so we could see the total number of sessions we got last month so now that'll change our traffic value here so we could do the same thing with these um, i'm going to get rid of uh, the referral traffic so here we have goals if you have goals set up or you will need to have goals set up for for this to work but again change the advanced segment to organic traffic uh, we'll leave goal completions so the key here is to make sure that you choose the proper advanced uh, segment so that you could call out specifically organic traffic again here we, we see we have a uh, all of our traffic channels again we will want to just change the advanced segment to organic traffic we could take out goal value and goal conversion rate, maybe add in page views instead. We'll drag that up here. So now we'll see sessions, page views, new users. Uh, that looks good to me. It's This is going to break down to only the organic traffic, so we actually can leave the rest as is. And here, now we will see specifically our organic traffic met metrics. I'm going to get rid of this table. Uh, we could leave top landing pages, but again, we want to change that to just organic traffic. So now we have our top landing pages, um, our goal completion showing, our metrics here. And now we have our first section set up, which is just a breakdown of our organic traffic from Google Analytics. So the next piece that I'm going to add in are keywords. In order to actually have keywords populate within this tracking tool here, we would need to go to rank tracking, the SERP tracker, and then add in all of the keywords that we would like to track right here under add keywords. Um, set the frequency. I typically do weekly include the different search engines that you would like to track we we typically look at google um, sometimes i'll look at bing as well from there go back to your reporting go back to your keyword reporting and, and you'll see i change this to keyword ranking hit submit again you could choose your your time frame i'm going to just hide that for now typically we'll remove a few of these and, and just focus on our total keywords that we rank for um, the keywords one to three, four to 10 and page two. So from here, I like to add the backlinks that are pointed at your website. So in order to do this, we will first need to go to link building backlink explorer, and then type in your URL here and then click explore. Now this will search your URL for all of the backlinks. Um, once, once this is loaded, we'll be able to use the Backlink Explorer in the report. 
So we'll click back on reports, again, open up the report that you were just working on, click add more metrics, and then backlink explorer. Again, I like to change the name. I just keep it as backlink report. We could hide the date. And then here we are going to filter out some of these columns. So I get rid of citation flow, this and this, and I'll just leave um, source URL, target URL, date and anchor text up. And then I sort by date. We'll do des descending. So the newest ones show up first and then submit. So now we have all of the most recent backlinks that are pointing at our website um, here in this report. This is good to track for domain authority, uh, which we will now add in. To add domain authority, go to site performance, create custom widget, then select domain authority. I add it to the backlink report at the bottom and then click submit. And now our domain authority will appear within our backlink report. So at this point, we have our organic traffic, our keywords, and our backlinks. Um, the last thing which I typically add to a report are goals. Um, I know that within our organic traffic session, we have the goal completions here, but I typically break that out into its own section, similar to, to what I would do with e-commerce. So if I were you, I would go ahead and add um, a goal section, specifically outlining the different goals that um, you're tracking the number of completions each had and break that out into its own section.